Welcome to the OpenHPI course about internet working. This is an introduction to this course. The internet, everyone knows it, but how does it work? This is a question and to answer this question is important to use the internet in the right way. If I only interested to transfer information, to receive web documents or to send messages, then it's fine, but if I want to use it in a way that I also think about what is secure, how does it work, what is behind, then uh, you should follow uh, this course. The internet is a global collection of very different local computer networks. These local computer networks may be incompatible. It's possible that you cannot interconnect them. So the idea of the internet is to provide in a layer above a software solution that helps that the different local networks behave like a uniform virtual network. And internet technology is exactly the secret behind this and this is exactly the topic uh, we want to discuss and we want to learn uh, in this course. Thanks to this internet technology, this collection of Various local networks comprises the virtual networks and this appears as a uniform network. Whether you're sitting on your laptop connected via uh, Ethernet uh, in a school, in a university, at home uh, to a network, or whether you use your smartphone uh, connected by mobile uh, technologies, you can use the Internet and you can address uh, other computers, you can receive uh, information from other computers, regardless whether they are a part of your network or whether they are worldwide distributed. The software, in this case, is called communication protocols. So these communication protocols, they regulate the data exchange beyond the borders of the individual physical networks. And this technology is called internet working. Internet working is the technique to combine different local computer networks and let them behave like a uniform network. Of course, there is the internet, the worldwide internet, everyone knows. But you can follow, you can use the same technologies to uh, connect uh, some uh, single uh, local computer networks and let them behave like a uniform network. It was really a very successful design of the internet technology that has made uh, it uh, that it load that the internet has such an explosive growth over the last 40 years. Because in that time, the hardware was changing, bandwidth was changing, new technologies come, and the internet is working like in the first day, so it was possible to adapt to all this uh, development. If we look back, so internet started in 1969 with four computers, and nowadays we have approximately one billion computers that are connected to the internet. Computers means also mobile devices, uh, smart devices, laptops, computers, mainframes, and more than two billion internet users. This is the course content uh, we uh, want to offer. Everyone who wants to understand how the internet works is welcome to the courses. There are no requirements. Everyone can take part. Uh, participation is free. Uh, we provide course material in form of lecture videos, in form of feedback tools like self-tests, homework. We provide additional reading material. All is uh, published week by week in the internet. You can access it for free, you can work with it, and you can uh, give feedback, send us your homework, uh, send us your exam, and if you are uh, successfully at the end, you can receive a certificate. The participants are expected to engage in a serious study of the learning materials uh, which is offered by us. Uh, we expect that the learner, that you, check your own learning uh, progress 
We provide tools for it. We provide uh, for each uh, lecture video self-tests. We provide for each week homework. Uh, all this uh, you can submit and it's automatically uh, corrected and sent back to you. And this is an important feature in this method open online courses. We expect you to take part, actively part in the discussion forum. Because the lecture material is published week by week, the participants, all the learners around the world, they deal with the same material. With the, they ask the same questions, they want to understand the same material. And you know it from physical world. If one discuss such things, it's much easier to understand. So this is an invitation for you uh, if you uh, like to discuss with the other learners which you wants to get the feeling to be part of a large virtual community, then you should uh, actively uh, take part in the discussion forum. And then I mentioned it already, one can earn a certificate at the end if one is able to complete homeworks and a final tests uh, uh, in a way that uh, one receives at least 50% of the scores. Here is an overview about the learning uh, content that we are providing in this OpenHPI course about internet working. In the first week, the leading question is, internet is great, but it's really so complex. Then in the second week, we will uh, consider network technologies. The leading question is, how can messages be transferred from one computer by way of electrical or optical or radio signals to another computer next door or to one that's halfway around the world. These interconnected networks, they form the internet, so to understand how the internet work, works, one needs to understand uh, how the single networks are working. Then in the third week, we uh, discuss the IP protocol, the internet protocol. We uh, speak about this technology, this software technology that helps that the different local networks uh, form, can form a uniform network. Leading gating question here is how does a data package find its way through an internet that consists of different but interconnected single networks with completely different technologies. IP version 4, the internet protocol version 4, is the internet protocol of today. And of course, due to the uh, increase and to the development of the internet, <coughs> engineers also have designed protocol, internet protocol for the future. This is a new internet protocol, IPv6, and this is uh, the content of our uh, fourth week of the OpenHPI course uh, about internet working. Gating questions is how will it be possible in the future for smartphones, household appliances, cars, sensors, and so on, to also be able to communicate via the uh, internet. Then in the fifth week, we discuss the transport protocol, uh, we discuss protocols on the transport layer. In the, in the middle uh, is the TCP protocol, which is very important to uh, guarantee that communication works in a correct way. We will also discuss the UDP protocol. And the gating question is how I can guarantee that my data will reach its goal uh, intact after its long journey through the internet across different networks. And then uh, in the last, in the sixth week, we discuss internet applications. Of course, all the internet technology is provided to offer uh, uh, that applications may communicate via the uh, internet with uh, computers, with users uh, on the other end of the world. Getting question here is what is still necessary in order to send an email or a video through the internet? Here are some additional information about uh, our course. What time, uh, what workload you should plan if you want to take part. So we think that it should be possible to follow the course with a uh, time uh, with spending about three to six hours per week uh, to view the learning material, to perform the self-test, to perform homework, uh, to discuss with other participants. For the homework, homeworks are designed in a way that's possible 
uh, to uh, solve uh, all, to answer all the questions within 16 minutes. Many of you will uh, do this much faster, but this is the maximum time uh, you can spend for homework. The learning experience and the success can be uh, increased very much through an intensive exchange with other course participants, with other learners, and with us, the course supervisors. Of course, uh, these factors, how much time you need, what kind of, uh, what kind of engagement you want to show, show, what you want to get out of the course, depends from what is your expectation. So you want to see only roughly what's going on, or you want really understood how internet is working. For all of you, all are invited, and you can um, decide by yourself in which way and with uh, how much resources to spend for taking part in the course. The course starts on Monday, uh, March 31. 2014, and then I mentioned it, there are six weeks, six weeks of course uh, content. Here, that's the Monday, the starting of each week. Uh, March 31 starts the first week, then we have April 07, April 14th, April 21st, April 28th, and then May uh, uh, 05. And this is the day we, uh, the submission deadline for homework. So when the new week starts, you have to finalize the former weeks, you have to submit homework. And here in the, in the last week, we have the exam in the week starting from May 12th. You are welcome. You are welcome to take part. We are happy to, to have you in our learning community of our OpenHPI course about internet working.